Hey everyone, this is Satyam and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a comparative analysis between BSc in Biotechnology and BSc in Biomedical Sciences. And yeah, it's a requested video. So today I'll be discussing 10 points related to these two branches so that uh, you can, you know, easily clear all your doubts. So I'll be talking here about the aims and objectives like uh, what is the outcome of studying these two particular branches what are the subjects that you have to study what is the eligibility criteria and what is the duration what is the course fee and what are the top 10 colleges where you can take admission and um, who are the top 10 recruiters and what is the average salary which is offered and what are the career options and the job roles that will be offered to you after studying these two particular branches? So let's get quickly started with today's video. Uh, let's begin this video by knowing like what is biotechnology? So basically biotechnology is the genetic manipulation of the living organisms to develop new technology as well as new products utilizes the biological system to alter the health of the human being uh, or their environment. So this is all about biotechnology. Now, what, what is, is BAC in biomedical science or uh, what does it include? So basically uh, you know it's about the study of the human body, the different kinds of diseases that occurs to a human body, the drugs that are designed and the effect of those drugs on the human body uh, in order to cure these diseases. Everything comes under BSc in Biomedical Science or MSc in Biomedical Science. And uh, it answers all the what, why and how related to the human body. So both these uh, branches, BSc Biotechnology, BSc Biomedical Sciences, they are research based, includes a lot of lab practices, a lot of tests. So yeah, moving. Uh, what is the eligibility criteria of BSc in Biotechnology and uh, BSc in Biomedical Sciences? So it's almost the same for both of them. The student should have physics, chemistry and biology in their plus two. Mathematics is optional. If you have it, good. If you don't have it, doesn't matter. You can still take admission in both the courses. So, so what is the duration? Duration of both the courses is three years divided into six semesters. So the subjects that are studied uh, in both these courses. So in case of BSc in biotechnology, I have made a full dedicated video where I have read out the subjects from my own mark sheet. You can watch out that video. You will have a lot of clarity regarding the subjects like semester wise. And in case of BSc in biomedical sciences, some of the subjects are like physics, chemistry. Chemistry will be basically organic chemistry and uh, there will be biochemistry. There will be physiology, uh, toxicology, pharmacology. Uh, etc. Uh, I'll be mentioning the subjects here on the screen. Let's move on to the top 10 colleges. So in case of BSc in Biotechnology, the top 10 colleges include uh, Mahi Manipal, that is Manipal Academy of Higher Education, Manipal, Karnataka, VIT Vellore, uh, which is in Chennai, Pune University, which is in Pune, Jamia Millia Islamia, which is in New Delhi, and uh, Madras Christian College, which is in Chennai, Christ College in Bangalore, MS Ramaya in Bangalore, and uh, Christu Jayanti College in Bangalore. SR in Chennai, Mumbai University in Mumbai. So these are the 10 colleges. Apart from these 10 colleges, there are various other colleges also, uh, which offers BSc in Biotechnology. Now, now in case of BSc in Biomedical Sciences, the colleges which offer, uh, they are like, first is Delhi University uh, in Delhi and DY Patil in Mumbai and um, Nitte University in Mangalore and ITM University in Gwalior. And apart from all these universities, there are several other universities as well. Now, now moving on to the course fee structure. So the course fees depends on the type of college that you're selecting. And while selecting the college, I would recommend that please take care of the infrastructure, the, you know, how equipped the labs are, because as I told you, both these branches are very much focused on the research and the lab practices. So the lab should be well equipped so that your skill sets can be honed properly. And uh, yeah, so, and also look into the placements and everything. So accordingly, when you choose a college, the course fees will depend on that. 
and yeah moving on to the job roles the career options that you get after studying bsc in biotechnology and bsc in biomedical sciences so in case of uh, like after you complete bsc in biotechnology the career options are limited like you usually get the role of a technician lab technician etc but once you complete masters like msc in biotechnology also multiple job roles uh, you know they get open for you like biomedical engineer senior biochemist senior medical scientist microbiologist process development scientist biomanufacturing specialist biotech product analyst food scientist and environment biotechnologist apart from all these there are several other you know positions also in case of bsc in biomedical sciences uh, the career options that you get are clinical research coordinator biostatistics and program manager clinical data analyst research assistant lab manager research scientist medical image analyst researcher pharmacist biomedical scientist and apart from all these job roles here also you get multiple other roles now yeah moving on to the next thing the top 10 recruiters so in case of bsc in biotechnology the recruiters are gsk glaxo smith klein then it's rinvaxi and then sipla biocon uh iqvia kerala health serum institute of india trazenka bharat biotech and apart from all these uh 10 recruiters there are several others like uh johnson and johnson cement healthcare philips healthcare uh, apollo hospital yes so for like you know again bsc biomedical sciences plus msc biomedical sciences the job roles will be there in hospitals like apollo max fortis apart from all these there are several other recruiters like foreign pharma zydus science research labs medical research council nhs uk health security agency and there will be several others so yeah moving on to the last the 10th uh, point of today's video that is the salary range so the sal salary range in both the cases in bsc biotechnology and bsc in biomedical sciences uh will be from somewhere between 2 to 4 lpa if you are just a graduate that means you have just opted for bsc but if you go on for masters you know msc in biotechnology msc in biomedical sciences then sky will be the limit the salary range can be expected to increase from 2 to 10 lpa and it will you know it will be more than that this is just a range um, you know to understand that i am saying or uh, it can uh, increase based on your knowledge on your skill sets and on the basis of the company the organization where you are applying for and the type of college that you have studied from so yeah with this i come to the end of today's video hope the video was helpful to you all and you all understood the basic difference based on these 10 points so if you have any other further video suggestions or any other doubt in your mind please post that in the comment section and i'll come up with an answer and yeah i'll see you in my next video for now just get to know this that bsc biotechnology and bsc biomedical sciences are branches of biosciences they both have some overlapping subjects but when you study them you land in different fields with different career options and so make your decisions wisely choose wisely and uh, in case you find difficulty in choosing a college for yourself i have a video on my channel seven points that you should keep in mind while you know opting for a college uh, in case of bsc in biotechnology and similar will be the case in case of bsc in biomedical sciences you can view that video and yeah i'll see you in my next video till then stay tuned keep watching keep smiling bye bye take care